Hi guys. Well, last week was a very full weekend of racing, which actually started on last Wednesday night at the Lincoln Speedway as they hosted the Appalachian Mountain Speed Week. And the winner of that race was, was Tim McCready over Nick Dixon, Greg Satterley, Jamie Latham was fourth, and Gary Stoller was fifth. The next night of racing was Friday night, and that in, in the super late models at Bedford was won by DJ Myers over Jack Pencil. Chuck Clace was third, Matt Parks was fourth, and Corey Weaver was fifth. In the limited late models at Bedford, it was Robbie Black picking up the win with Tim Smith Jr. second. There was a tie for third between Ralph Morgan Jr. and Mike Alabelli Jr. And Matt Hauser picked up the, the fifth place. In the semi-late division, it was Bill Haney picking up the win. In pure stock action, it was Travis Group. And in four cylinders stocks, it was Mike L L Lafer. And then at the Williams Grove Speedway, in the 410 sprint cars, it was Brian Lupo picking up the win over Stevie Smith Jr. Greg Hodnett was third, Darren Pittman was fourth, and Tim Schaefer was fifth. In, and Tim Buckwalder picked up the, the ARDC midget win at the Williams Grove Speedway. At, at Port Royal Speedway, then on Saturday night, it was Damian Gardner picking up the win in the USAC Sprints. Travis Co Coba Kobe Kobe Lars. Sorry, sorry if I screwed that up. Pick, picked up the win in the ARDC Midgets. And in Pro Stocks, the only Port Royal Speedway regular division that was in in action last Saturday night. It was Derek Garman picking up the win there with John Heen second. Uh, Nate Fisher was third, Sean Miller was fourth, and Howard Rank Jr. was fifth. Now, get my notes here. Uh-oh, guess what? I dropped my notes. How about that? <laughs> and at the Lincoln, sorry, at the Lincoln Speedway on Saturday night then, they had their regular two divisions, which is 410 sprint cars, and the 358 sprints in the 410 sprints it was Dan Dietrich picking up the win with Alan Crimes second Fred Raymer was third Corey Haas was fourth and Aaron Ott was fifth in the 358 it was Shane Huff picking up the the win over Keith Putzman Bree Hershey was third, Nikki Young was fourth, and Tim Berkheimer was fifth. At the Salem's Grove Speedway, it, in the 358 sprints, it was TJ Stutz picking up the win with Blaine Heimbach second. Third was Phil Walters, fourth was Jason Schultz, fifth was Pat, was Pat Cannon. In the Salem's Grove also hosted their spring championship for the late model division. And that was won by Kobe Fry over Jamie Latham. Greg Satterley was second. Brian Ber Bernheisel was fourth. And Dylan Yoder was fifth. A.J. Hoffman picked up the Pro Stock feature. And Corey Long picked up the Roadrunner feature. And at Heston Speedway, they had their special uh, race on Sunday night. And in the semi-late division, it was... Rick Singleton picking up the win over Jake Jones. Dave Lighty was third. Sam Schaefer was fourth. And Andy Freeze was in fifth. And the super late models were there with the three state flyer series. And there was something happened in that race that does not happen very often. A driver spun out at the beginning of the race and came back and won. And that's almost unheard of in a touring series race, which picking up the win there was Nick Dixon, who spun out on the second lap of the race and then come back and drove his way back and won the race, taking the lead with three laps to go. And led the remaining three laps. Dixon picked up the win over Greg Satterley, 
Jeff Ryan was third, Jeremy Miller was fourth, and Mike Klufer was fifth. Well, I hope you guys all like the results, and I'll see you guys next week.